particularly in the green zone and U.S. military bases. How are you going to help Iraq to hold these attacks by pro-Iranian militia um, and to hold these people accountable? And sir, if I may also, uh, there was some reporting that the U.S. troops will withdraw from Iraq totally in three years. Is this true? So at some point, we obviously will be gone. We've brought it down to a very, very low level. We deal where there are attacks. We take care of those attacks, and we take care of them very easily. Nobody has the weaponry we have. Nobody has the uh, anything of, of what we have. We have the finest, the greatest military in the world. Uh, when somebody hits us, we hit back harder than they hit us. So we handle it. In addition to that, Iraq has been very helpful where necessary. But we have been uh, taking our troops out of Iraq fairly rapidly, and uh, we look forward to the day when we don't have to be there. And hopefully, Iraq can uh, live their own lives and they can defend themselves, which they've been doing long before we got involved. Yes, Mr. Yes, President. Yes, President. Yes, President. Yes, President. About, about, the, about the bounties, about the bounties, you say you hit back hard, but we haven't seen any definitive strike back for bounties upon Americans. Well, you don't know about the bounties. I mean, you're telling me if you know something, you can let us know, but you obviously don't know very much about it. But if we found out that would be true, if we found that would be a very uh, — uh, it would be a fact, what you just said, we would hit them so hard, your head would spin. Go ahead. Mr. President, how do you see the role of the Kurds in Iraq? And how is important relationship between Baghdad and Erbil? Well, the as well. Kurds helped us greatly in defeating the, as you know, the ISIS and getting the ISIS 100 percent of the ISIS caliphate. So we have a very good relationship with the Kurds, and we've also treated them very well. Mr. President, Mr. President, on, on, yes, on the money, yeah. uh, the end of the militia rules in Iraq is very important to, to stabilize the, the country. How America can help ending the militia rules, and how can help Iraq? In, in, uh, in the democracy process? Well, what we're doing is we're helping where we can. But again, that's a country. That's a separate country. They have a prime minister, and they have people in office, and they have to run their country. Uh, we've been in Iraq for a long time. Uh, I won't say whether or not I said we should be there, but frankly, I didn't think it was a good mm -hmm. idea. But I was a civilian, so who's going to listen to me? But I made my, my point pretty clear. I guess as clear as a civilian can do it. But we were there. And now we're getting out. We'll be leaving shortly. And uh, the relationship is very good. We're making very big oil deals. Our oil companies are making massive deals. And uh, that's basically the story. I mean, we're very, we're very happy with the relationship that we've developed over the last couple of years. I thought before that, frankly, the United States was being taken advantage of. But we're uh, — going to be leaving, and hopefully we're going to be leaving a country that can defend itself. Mr. President, Mr. President, Mr. President on the troops, Mr. President. The, on the, on the, on the, truth, Mr. President. In the United States, there were, there were uh, airstrikes on, on northern Iraq and Kurdistan region, killing one civilian. Um, I know in your talks and your meetings here, you talk a lot about uh, the sovereignty of Iraq. Is that something that you're looking for help from the United States? And Mr. President,